Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'll be showing you a lesson plan based on the title Plants Around Me, in which I'll discuss about the characteristics of living things. So let's get started. To begin with, in the lesson plan you have to write title, that is Plants Around Me. Then comes the subtitle, Characteristics of Living Things. Thereafter, aim or specific objectives. Here, students will be able to understand the characteristics of living things. Students will be able to know the differences between living and non-living things. Previous knowledge, students are aware of the names of the living and non-living things found in the immediate environment. And then, you must write set induction. Here, teachers should take the students for a walk within the school campus and ask them to point out examples of living and non-living things in the environment. Then, the teacher should bring students back to the class and ask them the following questions. Like, how did you dis decide that the stone or wall were non-living things? Do you know that you are a living thing? How do you know that you are a living thing? Okay. You can also ask something like, Vehicles like tractors, airplanes, etc. and machines seem to be alive when they are working. Then do you think are they living things? And last but not the least, you can ask, How do you know that they are not alive? So questions like this the teacher should ask from the students and should accept all the relevant answers. And this is how the teacher should lead the children to the topic that is characteristics of living things. And then comes the procedure. Teachers should discuss the characteristics of living things. Here, the teacher can use the mnemonic Mrs. Nurk to help students remember the characteristics of living things. Now, what is Mrs. Nurk? Here, I would like to point out that M stands for movement, R for reproduction, S for sensitivity, N for nutrition, E for excretion, R for respiration, and G for growth. So this is how the students will remember the characteristics of living things. The teacher must explain these characteristics by beginning with movement. Teacher should describe living things move on their own. Animals and humans can move from one place to another. Plants do not move from one place to another, but they can move their body parts. For example, flower blooming from a bud or sunflower turning in the direction of the sun. Then reproduction. The teacher should say something like, living things reproduce. Some animals reproduce by laying eggs. For example, crocodile, ant, housefly, birds, etc. Some animals reproduce by giving birth to young ones. For example, dog gives puppy, lion gives cub, etc. Most plants grow from seeds. Seeds have baby plants inside them. Alright, then thirdly, sensitivity. Animals feel and react to any kind of change around them. That is, they feel hot, cold, hard, smooth, rough, etc. Even plants sense their surroundings but in a different way. For example, touch me not plant closes its leaves when touched and flowers like tulips bloom during the day and close at night. Then nutrition. Living things need food. Plants prepare their own food. Animals cannot prepare their own food. They depend on the plants directly or indirectly for their food. And then excretion. Living things get rid of their body wastes. Animals get rid of waste material in their bodies in the form of stool and urine. Plants shed their dried leaves and flowers. Plants also get rid of their waste in the form of latex from which rubber is obtained. Or gums, resins, lac, etc. Alright, and then R for respiration. Teacher should say, living things breathe. Animals, humans and plants take in oxygen and give out carbon dioxide during respiration. And last but not the least, G for growth. Teacher should say, 
living things grow plants humans and animals show growth in height size and width after explaining and discussing the characteristics of living things teacher should show the laminated chart of world around us to the students teacher should point out one thing in the picture and ask students to name it and elicit from them if it is a living or non living thing the teacher may point out at the following things in the picture for example trees child man cars road dog cat benches butterfly building grass flowers clouds sky birds etc and then after explaining all this the teacher should distribute class worksheets to the students teacher should ask the students to write down the names of the picture in the first column teacher should encourage students to write the spellings on their own then teacher should now ask students whether the things pointed out by her in the laminated sheet is living or non living and accordingly ask the students to mark a tick in the appropriate column that is living or non living thing here i must say the teacher should fill up the first row for students so that it becomes easy for them to answer the rest of the questions and then comes the closer teacher should ask the students to give more examples of living and non living things names which may not be there in the laminated chart should also be accepted by the teacher and then comes the recapitulation here the teacher should ask one student to draw a living thing and another student to draw a non living thing on the blackboard teacher should then draw a venn diagram on the board and discuss the similarities and differences between the living thing and non living thing drawn on the blackboard by the students all right so this is it friends here the point of integration i must say will be art that is drawing creation of class worksheets the teacher should distribute the homework sheets to the students and discuss about the worksheet that is being given to them so that it becomes easier for them to solve at their home all right so this is it friends hope you have liked one example of lesson plan that is shown by me if you have found it useful then please like it and subscribe to my channel so that i can upload more interesting and informative videos like this thank you bye bye